welcome back. In this video we're going to have a look at setting up the drivers for the NCE USB adapter so we can get the computer set up um, and connected to the layout. So basically what we need to do is go across to the Scilabs uh, website and download, download the drivers. Um, basically once you've done that um, you should get a folder similar to this one. If I open that up. Um, now, it may be slightly different than yours because I've got a fiddle around in here, but basically, it's this one here that you want uh, USB driver disk, which pops that for you on the screen. Um, so, if you open that up, there you go. Now, uh, normally, you would use this one. Um, basically the install driver package. Um, but I had issues on my system. Um, it failed um, each time I run that one, so um, that wasn't going to work. However, in the troubleshooting folder, you have got another driver package, this one here, um, Silicon Labs uh, VCP driver .pkg. Um, if you run that one, it should go through without a problem. Um, it did on mine. Um, and it will install the, the drivers for you. Once that's gone through, um, you may have to do a restart um, on your system, um, but basically that should get the, the drivers up and running for you. Um, in JMRI, uh, you need to go into Preferences. So on the Mac, it's uh, Panel Pro and then Preferences. Um, and you need to set up a connection. Um, if there's nothing, well, there shouldn't be anything in there anyway if you're using a fresh install of GMRI. Um, if you're going across from a different system, you may have a connection in here already. Um, but basically, if you just click on Add New Connection, select from the drop down list NCE from the system manufacturer, um, and the um, connection should have picked up that you're using NCE USB. If not, you've got a drop down list here and you can use those to um, select the one you want. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for the serial port, it's basically whatever you've got in there that's USB serial. Um, I've only got two options, um, so it's that one there. Uh, we're not connecting by Bluetooth, so select that one. Um, <coughs> you may have to change the system, depending on which one you're using. I'm using the power cab. Um, which is why that one's selected. USB version I've not had to touch. Um, maybe if you've got a really old um, USB adapter, you may have to change that to version six, um, but I've not had to, to play around with that. The rest of it you can pretty much leave as it is. Um, what you'll find though is the bottom bit won't be visible. Um, you'll need to go in there um, and select the board rate. This is the speed that the computer talks to the board and the board talks to the, to the computer. Um, what you're going to do, need to do though is to get it to make sure that it's going to work is to make sure that this matches what you've got set up on your board, uh, which is where the, the little jumpers um, come in. If you download the latest information sheet for the USB adapter from NCE, um, you should have all of the information. If you've got the one that's dated 2012, um, you're going to have fun and games because I couldn't find anything on there um, to do with Jumper 1. And it's Jumper 1 that you need to set the speed. You've got two options. Um, if it's out, the speed will go at 9600. Um, and if you enable that jumper, then you'll go at the fast speed at um, 19200. Now, depending on which system you're using, um, and the software version of that system, as in on my power cab, um, I've got um, version 1.65. There are previous versions, 1.28 I think was one of them. Um, depending on which one you've got um, will depend on how your jumpers are set up on your USB adapter. Um, so have a look at the information sheet. There's a table in there, I think it's on page three or four, um, and on there it lists all of these systems with different software versions and you basically go across the table, find your one and then you can match up what jumper settings are from that. I think I've got an old version um, on here somewhere. Let's have a look. Um, 
but like I say, it's out of date. This is just for reference. Um, No, don't seem to have it now. So it maybe it was on my other computer. Um, but basically, uh, it's the table of uh, the jumper settings that you need. Um, match those up to your system, um, as well as uh, sorry, as well as this um, speed setting here within um, GMRI. Um, save your settings. Um, you'll. It'll either re, uh, restart itself, or you have to do a restart just for those settings to kick in. Um, and then once that's all done, this part here should stay black. Um, if it goes red, um, then you've got a connection issue. Um, but as long as you've followed the, uh, the previous steps, um, you should be up and running. Um, and then you can, you can go in and um, start controlling your... Um, your system, your layout. Um, I haven't got anything on the network at the moment, but I do have. Um, go to tables. Turns. I've got one of the um, points set up, so I don't know if you can hear from because it's on the other side of the layout. But that's basically the point being thrown, so the the, the system connection is working. Um, so hopefully um, that's been of some help. Um, I'll put some more videos up um, on using JMRI in the future. So um, I hope to see you soon. Until then, goodbye.